Yes, I was asked by uh, film producers Scott Swearingen and Steve Heron uh, to score, provide some music score for the uh, documentary film. Uh, it was commissioned by the Marlin Estate Foundation, uh, the uh, Marlin Mansion in Ponca City. E.W. Marlin was one of our great oil men politicians of Oklahoma. Uh, he was uh, one of Oklahoma's governors during the Depression era who really cared for the people and tried to reach out and provide help for those hurting in the state. He managed to find oil uh, near Ponca City and, and then all that area he uh, built his company called the Marlin Oil Company. And uh, at one time, it was, um, it produced 10% of the oils, the world market for oil. He was really very entrepreneurial and very um, vision oriented. He cared for his workers. He would reach out to them to provide health care and, and suitable housing at low cost. His first wife died and he married his his uh, adopted uh, niece, which created kind of scandal for the time. She was a very, very beautiful woman, and she became a legend, um, and also the first uh, lady of Oklahoma when he became governor. He, he left his uh, widow, uh, and she became uh, reclusive and um, eventually disappeared for 22 years or so. And the telling of her return is quite, quite moving. Uh, there's a lot of mystery about those years. So that's part of the mystery of it, as well as just the, their mystery. There's a certain amount of mystery around their relationship. But I did the thematic scoring, the, the creating musical themes and instrumental themes that would go along with the characters. For Marlon, we needed to come up with something dignified, strong that had that sense of um, sense of exploration and yet generosity all embedded in that feeling of the music. The premiere screening was in Ponca City at the Ponkin Theater and we had 700 people in the audience for the opening and then um, we were um, nominated for for an Emmy uh, Heart, at the Heartland Emmy Awards ceremony so we attended that in July this past summer and we didn't win, but to receive a nomination was a great honor. Um, the title captures very well, High Stakes. He really was into high stakes. He was into the risk. And I think it's the joy of finding, the joy of exploring, and of that possibility that we just might hit it really big, that really tantalized and motivated him. The sense of American national spirit was embedded in him, the sense of exploration and expansion and uh, unlimited potential.